Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool blue Princess Telephone, Western Electric. And this is Jim's telephone from Texas. And so basically Jim's got a note here and um, he says uh, the bell doesn't ring, push buttons don't work, and the sound out and sound in sounds fuzzy. Uh, this is the initial checkout of this telephone. Now I'm not getting the fuzziness out of the receive and transmit that Jim's getting, but um, one issue may be because he needs to have a bridge rectifier installed in this telephone for his keypad so that no matter where he plugs this telephone in it will always have proper polarity. We also have to go through the bell circuit and troubleshoot that and find out why it's not ringing. But um, he also has a high speed internet modem telephone line. So that can lead to some complications sometimes just for the simple fact that they don't usually produce the same amount of voltage and out of all the customers that I deal with that have these type of lines, 80% of them are pretty good with uh, even rotary telephones. But then you have that 20 or 30% that, you know, they always seem to have problems because the modem is not producing enough signal. And so, you know, it can lead into problems. And some of those lines won't recognize rotary either. So, but uh, we're not concerned with that because uh, Jim has a touch tone telephone, but uh, there still can be some issues with that. So this is the initial checkout. So let's go ahead and try to ring the telephone. We have everything plugged in. And as you see here, every time this red light lights, that's an indication of a ring cycle. So one's going by right now, and there is no telephone ringing bell. We'll let it go one more time, and then we'll go ahead and answer it. There's another ring cycle. It's ended. We're going to go ahead and answer it. Give you some dial tone. Now what we want to do, since there's an issue with um, dialing, is we want to go ahead and try to dial our numbers. and it never breaks dial tone. So we'll try that one more time. We still have dial tone. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cause dial tone to go away by hitting the hook switch. And now what we want to do is transmit into the handset. So if you watch this red light here on the analyzer, every time you see that red light, that's an indication of 100% modulation. One, two, three, four, five, six, hello, hello. So we know this telephone has received transmit. The bell's not working, and neither is the keypad. So now what we want to do is I'm going to go ahead and show you the inside of this telephone. We'll go ahead and unplug it. I have the body loose, and this is a very cool color that this telephone is in. Now the keypad says 79 on it, but I suspect that this telephone was taken in and reserviced at some point, just for the simple fact that I know the base of this telephone is much older than that. Now, I don't see a date code, but they would have uh, taken that off when they uh, refurbished this telephone in, back in that period. So at some time, we know around 78 or 79, it was probably refurbished, and uh, the telephone is probably much older than that, though, in reality. So we have our keypad loose. And we're going to try to get that part here.
sometimes they can give you a little trouble. Now, the cool thing about this telephone is Jim actually has his transformer for the light, and we have checked the light. The light does work. So that's a good thing that he has his transformer. But this is just to kind of give you a look at the telephone. And what we usually do when we install bridge rectifiers is we tuck them up underneath the keypad in this area. And we'll take a short break. We'll go ahead and troubleshoot and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and so what we're doing is I'm starting to build my bridge rectifier for this telephone and uh, you can buy these bridge rectifiers but I've always made my own and uh, so that's what we're doing here now is configuring the bridge rectifier and if you're not sure how the bridge rectifier I'm cleaning my soldering gun here if you're not sure how to configure the bridge rectifier it wouldn't do you any good to make one and even though that you buy a bridge rectifier you have to know how to design it into the circuit so we're going to get this soldered up and get it ready to install into the circuit rectifier soldered up now and uh, we're ready to go ahead and uh, configure the circuit here on the telephone. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to take a short break and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, we're finished up with this telephone now and we'll run through a little bit of what went on. We installed a bridge rectifier and it's tucked up underneath the keypad here. We also went through the bell circuit and repaired that. Now, if you've watched my videos, you'll know that I'm not a fan of this style bell. Out of all the great designs through the years Western Electric had, this bell was the only thing that I found was a questionable design. And I always thought that Western Electric could do a much better job than what they did on this bell. This bell will ring and the one similar to it, but they're just not a real good design and uh, I thought they could do better than that. But anyway, what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and ring the phone. I'll let that go a few times. give you some dial tone and now I want to walk through the numbers so if you watch the analyzer you'll see the numbers go by I'm going to end in a 2 and since that was one of the issues we're going to go ahead and do that again I'm going to hang up give you some dial tone We want to walk through the numbers one more time. And I'm going to end in a 2. And I'm going to go ahead and hang up. I'm going to dial a 2 and take away dial tone, but I want to transmit into the handset. So if you watch this red light on the analyzer, every time I modulate, that's indication of 100% modulation on transmit. One, two, three, four, five, six, hello, hello. So I am not getting the fuzzy sound that Jim said he got with this telephone. Now, it is an older T1 and receiver capsule, but they work just like any normal transmitter or receiver would work. And uh, working on telephones every day, I can tell what's within reason and what's not. So if there's another issue going on with 
causing some type of a fuzzy transmit and receive or either other, it will be on Jim's end because the telephone works fine. And I never found that to be an issue. The bell was an issue and the keypad did not have proper polarity. And in order to make sure that you always have proper polarity where this telephone is plugged in at, we installed a bridge rectifier and that solves that problem. He'll never have to worry about that again. Now, what we want to do now is we want to go ahead and we'll place the body back on the phone. And remember, Jim has his original transformer, so there's no sense in checking the light. We already did. We know it works, and he knows it works because he has the transformer. And that's cool because it's nice to see these telephones work the way they did originally. So now what we want to do is move this telephone over to a regular telephone line. And I want to give you some dial tone. And I want to call it time and temp. Good afternoon. Offenburg St. Clair Auto Mall with five new car lines at one location in O'Fallon. Offenburg.com. Today is Sunday, September 2nd. The time is 549. Current temperature 86 degrees. Now the Belleville area weather forecast. Mostly cloudy tonight, an isolated shower, lows in the mid-70s, clearing skies Monday, a high around 90. Okay. So now we can call one other number, give you some dial tone. We'll call my number and it'll be busy. Okay, so we know this telephone is working properly now and everything checks fine and the bell circuit has been repaired and the key uh, pad issue has been resolved. So now we can get this telephone back to Jim and he can start enjoying it again and hopefully um, there won't be any other issues. He does have a high speed internet telephone line so that's created by a modem. So if there's going to be any issues, it'll be on that end and it'll be that uh, the problem will be with the telephone line. And maybe the modem is having an issue with uh, not producing enough uh, voltage to feed this telephone. Because these telephones, these older style telephones, will pull a lot more voltage when you're using them than a normal newer style telephone. There's just a lot more to these, and that's why when they're fed the proper voltage, they have a high quality, and that's why they've been around this long, because they were made so well. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com, and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.